Welcome back to Anime Doctor. I mean, Drama Center, second opinion. Well, it's good we met with, you know, the first Anime Doctor, and, you know, we're coming to this one, second Anime Doctor. And, uh, I gotta say, definitely felt like an anime protagonist when I scored that sweet S. That is, that is a very impressive S, yes. Go back and watch if you haven't seen it yet. <sighs> Well, it's now, time to go to the International Medical Conference! Time for some lore, baby! Alright! Let's get that lore! Yeah. I love how they keep telling us that we're still at Caduceus, like Derek didn't get sacked halfway through a surgery or something like that. Well, here we go. Oh. <laughs> yeah, 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 Derek Styles, can you come to my office, please? Oh, again? He's, he's impressed with your S rank, too. Like, uh, actually, look, look yeah. at this S rank. Look at this shit. My God. A high definition video card. Oh, my God. This is 20, uh, 2007. Dude, you got a hop hodge. <laughs> I'm glad I don't anymore. Um, uh, you look friendly. Hey, real fast. I need your signature for this. Oh, hi, Anime Squidward. You know, I wanted to cut my bangs all the way the same length, but, you know, I didn't want to show my unibrow. It's kind of peeking out from behind that hair strand, why unfortunately. You why don't you comb your hair back like I do? Yeah. Yeah, well... It's just a quick signature. Victor N Niel? It's Nictor Viguel. Sure. He's head of the He's research. head of research at 26, 26 years old. Head of research. Yeah, fucking right. Anime, baby. He's responsible for a lot of the organization's proprietary medical technology. And he's even a tech wizard. Oh, boy. You got you to gotta love the tech wizard. Like, you know, the one singular tech wizard. But yep. you know, between, between my friends, like, the three of us are big tech wizards. Indeed. See, I, I still like that they're going... Like, they're not holding back. We're, we're going full anime guy here, and it's so funny. It just makes the world feel alive. So I guess we should talk about the fact that there was an Under the Knife 2. Yeah, I, I, I never played it. Was it enough? Okay, I'm, uh, I hope you don't mind if I look it up real quick. I want to know if it was a... I mean, I'm not including it into this. This is the Wii trilogy, and that's only a DS game. Oh, I know. I'm just curious, where do they go? Like, is it a separate plot line? Is it, is it just more of the same? See, after this game, uh, we kind of move away from Derek Styles. Uh, Derek Styles uh, is still a character in New Blood, and I think he shows up once or twice in uh, Trauma Team. But I think Under the Knife 2 is him continuing the later years of his career, you know. Let's see. Just a, a, a Derek Styles-focused sequel. Oh, yeah, you called it. Uh, let's see. All right, developed... Uh, it is the fourth game in the Trauma Center series and a direct sequel to Under the Knife. Ooh, Under the Knife came out in 2005. I did not know that. Mm -hmm. uh, three years after the events of Under the Knife. Uh, so, so there's all this uh, extra stuff I can't talk about. Uh, but yeah, it's a direct sequel to Under the Knife. Uh, yeah, the Wii version moves away from Derek, so I guess if you if you want more more Doctor Styles, which I know you do, absolutely, uh, you're gonna have to go get a copy on the DS. Which um, yeah, no, now they now they got me curious. I mean, let's uh, take a lovely trip to eBay as we talk to uh, Hot Doctor here. Since this is an Atlas game, I bet you anything, it's still ungodly expensive. It's a DS Atlas game, and those those can run a pretty penny. Woo! First one, buy it now, 60 bucks. Uh, well, that's actually not too bad. Would you rather buy uh, the latest uh, game, or would you rather get a gem for 60 bucks, I guess? Oh, somebody selling the cartridge only for $54. Yeah, get the hell out of oh, here. Oh, wow. Yeah, get the hell out of here. Just give me the entire box or no sale. Anyway. Right now, they're kind of reminiscing about medical conferences that they've had. Oh, all those conferences. Is he still in the picture? Well, no. Right now, I am. Oh. And now you are. You got me. And now I am again. Doctor, are you breaking the fourth wall? <laughs> no. Stares at the audience. If you think I'm breaking the fourth wall, hit the home button now. <laughs> huh?
How did, how did she do that? Wow. How did she do that? <laughs> Medical terrorism. Uh, excuse me, what? Langston Miller. Uh, okay. D Whoa. <laughs> wow. Hello, sir. Look at look at all those medals. <laughs> Damn. I fought the flu in all these countries. Wow. No motivation behind the epidemic. Well, it's an epidemic. It's, they just kind of happen, and if you don't quarantine them, they spread like wildfire. Yeah, viruses are tricky things. They keep evolving, and they keep getting resistant to shit. Delphi. So, funny thing. While I was looking up Under the Knife 2, it continues the fight against Delphi. So we're learning about them now, <laughs> and we know that Derek still fights them later. So nothing we do is going to matter, because it's going to come back later. As I found out from playing uh, different franchises from Capcom, bad guys don't stay dead. Or, as, you as know, I learned from reading a lot of uh, Japanese uh, popular culture and media, bad guys don't, uh, don't stay you away. It's like in 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 the really high points in the show, you think you've killed the bad guy forever, and then oh, when no. and then when they're kind of dipping in popularity and quality, they go, uh, no, you didn't. Uh huh. Nope. I mean, this is why Frieza keeps coming back. Hell, Cell came back for the movie. Oh my god, I didn't know that. Ramifications of medical terrorism are grave. Like what we're gonna put these terrorists in, and then you hear like air horns and American flags just show up all over this medical hall. We're gonna put a stop to this. We're gonna put the end in endemic. Oh wait. Oh shoot. NPO, Nasty People Organization. They call it Ouroboros. Nasty thing. Parasitic. Complete. Global. Global. Saturation. I mean, he looks like an umbrella type guy. I don't know. I think he could be, like, trying to fight against it. I don't trust his eyes, but I trust his mustache. No, I I don't trust the eyes. The eyes are the are the sticking point. It's just like, okay, can you please stop looking? That looks like like th those are the eyes that said, "I've shot children in third world countries, and I don't care." <laughs> I, I'm I'm laughing because of what you said, not of actually sh you know shooting kids. <laughs> Child murder. That's a good <laughs> one. <laughs> okay. Uh. Ooh, wow. Anyway, time uh, to blow somebody so, up. So, someone clip that one. <laughs> <laughs> Explosion patience. Hey, like, hey, who's got my back? Huh? Like either, huh? like, either he's gonna blow up, either he's like, Will you just check my vitals already? Or it's the time bomb. Yeah, so I've, uh, I remember this very vividly. Oh, I'm right. Yep. Good luck, buddy. Man, talk about long speeches. I could all day. That'll make a long speech. Yep, good luck with that. Bye. You were taking the the minutes? Uh-oh. Somebody got the power. Someone set up us the bomb. Hello, Caduceus. Would you like to play a game? You doctors and your temporary cures are worthless. <laughs> yes! Would y'all just die to Spanish influenza already? Come on! Bringing back the classics. Hell yeah. What's that? Bubonic plague? Bring it. I don't know why they didn't wipe out an entire, you know, half of Europe. No, they were looking for the one person with the miracle cure. That's why, you know, that's why Europe got infected with the Black Death. You know, just to see if we could find the one with superpowers. Yep. yep all you right. gotta defuse a bomb, buddy. And she's like, are you serious? Are you serious? This is how I die? My 27-year-old self is gonna die next to Derek Styles. 27? I, I, yes, 27. Yes, 27. Just kind of steps on his toes a little bit. I feel like you've been 27 for about 10 years now. Good to know you too, sir. Hey, did you finally reach 70? What's that? You say you're gonna land over the bomb and protect us all and shoot yourself from the blast? All right. 
So this mission just literally comes out of nowhere, and I love it. Yeah. Oh, yeah! Her police background! She's gonna help us defuse a fucking bomb! I, I'd forgotten about oh that. Oh my yeah. god! That's so great! Super doctors! You see, Derek, crime is a, lo crime is a lot like tumors. You gotta <laughs> remove the malignant ones and let the benign ones lay. <laughs> It's a terrible analogy. That's an awful analogy. So is being a cop. Everyone take cover! Yep, grab your medical supplies. Here's the bomb. So I really hate this time bomb part because this could like... Hmm. Yeah. You could lose it all at the end. At the end, yes. One false move, the thing explodes. So you're going to need a very steady hand. And I'm curious to see if Motion Plus actually does help. All right. This will be the test. No, not much worse than this. I don't know. That last mission kind of put me out for a little bit. We had to take a break after that I one. I mean, there was a one time that we were a border patrolsman and there was a bomb there. What I think I love about that is, like, after you defuse the bomb in Papers, Please, it's just like, okay, it's shoot the bomb. Get back to work. Exactly. There's just, like, eh, nothing to see here. D did you die? No? Okay, well, move that, on. There's no explosion. You defuse bomb. I yeah. suffer parts. Get yeah. back to work. Yeah, good job. All right, Vixen, show me how to defuse a bomb. Why do I got to do it? Because you're expendable. I, I'm what? You're new. I'm part of the expendables? And wow! I dated you dated a guy on the bomb squad. Wow. Do you really think that I I'm like St Sylvester Stallone and Arnold Schwarzenegger and Bruce Willis? Holy shit, she actually joined her boyfriend at the time to a bomb defusing. Alright, grab your screwdriver. Heck. Or your scalpel. Now I know the trick behind these screws here. Yep. Alright, scalpel time. Scalpel. Right or left. Turn that way. That's one. Good. This one. Turn left. What? Good. Two down. Oh. This okay. one left. Was that from memory? We have one more. This one to the or do you right. just notice? The they're, written, they're written right there on the cover. Now for the next Wait, one. what? Right there. Oh, they are. <laughs> All right, the laser. Yes, destroy them with the surgical laser. You can stabilize the voltage to a certain level. It should be more clear to you. So don't hit the core, or you die. I think I got two hits on that. Two hits on the core, you think? Yeah. Okay. If I remember correctly, it should be... Oh, right, we need to do some other things first. Voltage regulator. Okay. So using forceps. Pull it toward yourself. Don't let go of it. Oh, Press it in. Woo. Good work. Okay. That one. No. Oh, close. Hey, there we go. Good right. job. All right, let's take another look at the panels. So there we go. It's working. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, let's get it done. All right. So is it just the red ones or the white ones? The white ones are the ones that are lit up, I think. Unlit panels. Okay. Good work. So, yeah, they can change red at any time. Which is pretty rough, but it's okay. Steady. Steady hand. Okay. You're doing fine. The red panels seem to be like centralized or staying in their area. But... I want to rush it. Yeah. I want to rush we, it. We got plenty of time. You got over three minutes. Master Surgeon. Don't do Don't. That. Okay, you're good. Okay, you're good. All right, all right. I, I kind of figured they would pull that shit at least once. Okay, never mind. It pulled it twice. Awesome! Can I try? No, you get like 18 tries. I want to... Go for it, man. 
You got like four tries on one surgery. Get me one. That's true. Right. Also, this mission is just like fun. Let's begin I like the, the idea. Now I know where to put the plug, so we got more time. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot. So if you use your ultrasound, it tells you uh, which way to go on there. It also says right there. No, I mean like if you can't see it. That's what I was mainly getting at. doesn't work as well as you think it does. Yeah, it's just a little f too fast for it. We only have one more. Yeah. Seems to work better turning right than left. Now for the next one. Interesting. I wonder if that has to do with my Wiimote's battery power. Possibly. Alright. Skip through all that fun stuff. Go ahead and insert the plugs. Pull it towards yourself. Press yeah. it in. Yeah, that's really iffy. For yeah. good work. Like taking out and eh. pulling back in. Eh. Ta da! You're doing fine. All right, now you got over four minutes. All right. Take out those cores. Okay, let's get it done. Right. Here we go. More focus. Good work. One, two, three, four. Okay, so on the fourth flash, they Damn it. change to another one. I know. I was, I was about to say, yeah. You're doing fine. Yeah, I still got plenty of tiles. Fuck! Oh! Shot the core with a laser. One more. You got it. One more go. One more go. Put me in, coach. Skip ahead to the tiles. Come on. Let's begin dismantling the bomb. I didn't think precision would be her downfall. Dismantling a bomb? No, of course not. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Take another look at those panels. I was, I was about to say, I would just stay as far away from the reds as possible and leave those for last. Because at least then, it would just be like, oh hey, you just have to wait patiently for it to turn white. <laughs> yeah, eventually, uh, a lot of the panels will just be singled out. That'll be a lot easier to tackle. I like how it's getting faster. It's really, ooh, just looping around a little bit. It's all right. You're doing fine. All right, there we go. Making it work. I don't even remember how this mission ends. With us disarming the bomb, of course. Well, I mean, yeah. And I'm sure Derek will just get a, you know, a pat on the back for it. Don't like, do that. Sh what? Yeah. Are you kidding? Changed over. Yeah, so now we're getting more to the difficult part. Yeah, we are. There. Oh my god! They still have the same timer, it looks like. You, yeah, you can't sake. even see it. Okay, one, two, three, and gone. All right. Actually, that's not a bad idea. It at least took out a gigantic quadrant. All right. 
Oh, you can actually see them being read from the other side, too. Okay. Good, good. I think we're they're running out of red tiles, so this is perfect. Okay. Got two come on, minutes. Come on around. Yeah, you got, you got plenty of time still. Yep, just... It's okay. It's that lone tile. It's chilling back there. I think the red is done, though. I think so, too. But just in case. Got it. All right. Oh, no! Basically, the center of the bomb, if we deactivate this, bomb is useless. There isn't much Use your laser to destroy it. So, uh, only hit the bomb. Right at the end. God damn it! All right, fine, here. Right at the end. Fucking take it! God! I wanna go back to easy! This is bullshit! Fuck! <sighs> still Your normal is taking all the commentary away because we gotta shut up and focus! We gotta go to easy, man! No, we don't! Yes, we do! Don't be a Otherwise, everything is gonna be just us sitting here, stock silence, while we try and get past this shit! It's fine, man. It's not! It's fine, man. It's not! It's all right. Well, look at you. Not trying to show off. I'm mainly just trying to get it done quick. Go look at this. He doesn't even have to try. He just does. Fine. Okay, oh, good. Oh, great. Call me Derek Styles of the next generation. <laughs> uh, I won't do that. I won't insult you like that. Oh, thank you. Otherwise, we'd be yelling for Mary! <laughs> Is that what that Nirvana song was about? <laughs> Mary! Mary! Yay, yay, yay! Well, that one was staying red for a good long while. Don't do that. Okay, okay, fine. It needs to be right in front of me. I got you. Shoot? Parts of a time bomb! Just a part of a time bomb. Gotta shoot it dead. All right. Yeah, I was waiting. Healing touch for the last part. Duh. Now it's all right. You know for now. I I even forgot that we could use the healing touch in this part. It's like, it's, it just goes by so fast, we don't have that much time. Healing touch, of course. Oh. It blasts an entire fucking metric ton full of, right. of, a, of photon energy into that shit. Oh, look at that. Wow. I I hate that. <laughs> I hate that they want you to use the healing touch to, to do that. I mean, you don't have to, but it takes your time down to 30 seconds, I noticed. This is supposed to be an S-rank... Uh, hole, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Because okay. <laughs> if you miss one, there goes your combo. Yikes. Ugh. Well, thanks for doing my case for me. Oh, no, that's fine. I'll take the next one. Uh, if, if honestly, since this is your playthrough, I honestly have no say in it. So but, we can do whatever you want. Well, I mean, you, you're the one who disarmed the bomb. Well, that means nothing, because I can't, like, throw it and blow up a, a dumpster or something like that. Can we sell the parts? Yes, Derek, you can sell the parts. <sighs> I can't take much more of these roadblocks, because we're only on Chapter 3 of, like, 6-7 six, six or, or something. something like that. Well, that's fine. Whatever you want to do. We're alive! <laughs> what? Because I disarmed a bomb? You're great! You're going to Africa! What? What? Why? I thought that said footballs of terror. <laughs> Turn hold on! Well, let's see what they mean by that. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm curious. I mean, are we always gonna have to deal with terrorists now? Like, every time we go anywhere? Such is the life of a doctor, I suppose. I, I guess. Yeah, those anti-vaxxers are crazy. I, I don't think I've ever sent my doctor a an explosive to disarm. Well, not yet. I mean, I tried to mail firecrackers to my to my dentist once. And... Were they lit? 
Um, it, you know, I tried that once. Blew it before I could get to the mailbox. Damn, 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 damn. I knew I should have had like a like a Looney Tune style long wick that I could light as soon as I get it to him. I mean, I could mail him C4, but I don't have a detonator with me. Oh, shoot. You know, yeah, and those are hard to come by, actually. The postage is way too much for something like that. Uh, right, C4, right. C4 is very dense and it's very considered heavy. hazardous materials, uh -huh. so I, yeah, maybe we can come up with a little something else. I mean, you could, could make a pipe bomb, but I don't know how to make those. I mean, I, I just get a pipe, but I just put legal herbs in there and smoke that. And I don't think it's quite the bomb that they're talking about. Could try Anthrax, but I don't know if he has their CDs or not. There's, there's so many options, but they're just all all coming up negative, unfortunately. Um. Could send him some flowers. He wouldn't expect that. Oh, and I think he's allergic to tulips. Tulips, so this is perfect. Did this just turn into like a plot to kill our doctors? <laughs> I I suppose. But we're, uh, not, we're not very good at it. Uh, though. I, was, I was about. Are we Delphi? Are we? Are we the? Uh, uh, biological terrorists. I bought my dentist. Some brand new curtains. A week's paid vacation on a cruise. And a brand new Honda Civic. You monster! I'm going to kill him with kindness. No! <laughs> there, was, uh, there was something I heard recently that um, apparently some of our local dentists in our area... Um, they basically hand out cash in exchange for kids' candy. And I thought, no, 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 you got that wrong. Why not just give them extra candy and then give them a business card? You gotta be kidding me. On a plane? Operation on a plane? Let's go for it. Okay. Let's see, let's just let's just scope it out. Operate I mean, on, on a plane, a, man. On a plane. On a plane. On a plane. Oh! Oh! Derek just went off screen! I just, I just noticed that's the Shin Megami Tensai pawn. God, it is. Reusing assets. Rumor is far away. I mean, three transfers. You can 30, three rubber hours. a mine. <laughs> 33 hours! Oh, we're gonna have to operate when we're queasy. Oh, God. Try not to get heat stroke. Why did I agree to this? I've almost gotten heat stroke before. It is not fun. Attention, please. Is there a doctor on the plane? <laughs> uh, Angie, raise your hand. Angie, Angie, raise your hand. Your nagging has to wait. Duty calls. <laughs> puts on the puts on the rubber gloves. <laughs> All right. Please tell me this is like a like a transitionary type of one. Like we're not going to deal with guilt on a plane, right? I I hope not. Please let it be like heart palpitations. Chi McGinley. That's uh, John C. McGinley, who plays Dr. Cox on Scrubs. And uh, the first time that you watch Scrubs, newbie, you will be impersonating him all day. Noted. All right, so we need to drain some fluid. Respiratory failure. Suffering. Suffering. He's been suffering from edema, edema of the lungs. Why the fuck was he flying? Throw him out. They were get... Uh, let's see. So why... Permission to return home, so he wasn't cured yet. All right, so he aggravated his symptoms. Cool. Lob lobectomy? Lobotomy. Got it. Doctor, no! <laughs> ah! Please tell me there's not going to be turbulence. I was just thinking that. Like, what could they add? Oh, a little turbulence is fine. They have to cut this vein and oh, <laughs> oh there it goes. Here's his arm. Shit. Uh, Mr. Styles, we're coming up to a storm. Avoid it. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna close them up and see if we can't just uh, pray for the best. All right, so this is just draining fluid. This looks doable. See, my favorite parts of Trauma Center is when it stops being anime doctor and it starts being real doctor. Doctor, doctor, yeah. I mean, yeah, medical emergency. You know, on a you know on a plane. That's just medical dramas. Yeah. I mean, come on. I just, it, House would do this. If he there is a storm up ahead. No. What the fuck? Let's begin. Oh my god! Okay, okay! I hope that's just text. There's no way they're just gonna be like, Doctor! I wonder if it's gonna be like, <laughs> Alright, finish it quickly, so, uh, right, yeah. Ultrasound. Boo, 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 boo. Oh, eh. Nope. Oh, there we go. Doctor. And drain that. Treatment complete. Ooh, man. Oh, wait, that's turbulence. What the? That, oh, yep, that's what that is. You have to be careful. 
Especially if you're using a scalpel. Okay. I'm using a syringe. So his lungs just, like, tore open because of that turbulence. Goddamn turbulence, stop! Wait, why didn't I... What the? What the? What? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> All right, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. What happened? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I, I think I was trying to do something, but, you know, it doesn't tell me when there's turbulence. So every time you did Starting something, it just ripped him open again. Yep. Oh my God. You were even trying to save him, too. Like, you were just, like, trying to put a syringe in there, but just... Oops! <laughs> just rip his lungs open. Jesus Christ! Right. Okay, that is... That's hilarious. Uh-huh. I'm sorry for the guy, but... <laughs> Last one of... Well, at least one of us is laughing. All right. Are you kidding? That was funny. Okay. Treat it immediately. Hatch it up. There we go. Oh, they're in different spots now, too. Careful. Okay. And there's turbulence. I didn't even. Be careful. Yeah, so it just does that. Okay. I I do anything, even when it's not even near his body. All right. Bullshit. All right. Solved. There's another one. Okay. Here comes turbulence. Got my. Okay. So it literally was if you do. Anything. Any fucking anything at all. Whoops. Especially if you laser him. <laughs> yep. Alright, here comes more turbulence. Just fly into another cloud, it'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> hey pilot, you wanna work with me here? No, oh, sorry, doctor. Alright. <laughs> I love the lasering. <laughs> Ah! No, no, it's all right, man. It's all right. No, it's, it was the turbulence. That's for you thinking you can get on a fucking plane. Uh, you should be close to done. I don't remember this one being very right. half complete. Okay, half never done. mind. All right. There's another one. That laser keeps getting you, man. Because it's like right here. I I know it's the worst. There we go. Let's get him up a little yeah, bit more. A little bit on the vital side. Boom. Boom. Complete. Oh, oh. And he got him. All right. Yeah. That nice, that nice quick syringe. It's just like, here you go. Apparently the turbulence is like at a certain point, so when it starts rumbling, that's them oh. telling me. Yeah. Just telling you to get your shit done, and then, you know, we'll go from there. Okay. Yeah, there it goes again. All right, his vitals are 47, so yeah. give him give him one more good dose, and then this should be done. I'm gonna give him two more good doses. That'll work. There you go. There's 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 the good vitals there. Oh damn! Going super Derek Styles fast. All right, should be at least one to two more, if I had to guess. Probably right. like right in the middle, maybe. Oh, there it is. What a relief. Alright, I think we're done. Woo! The turbulence stopped around the time we were we were finishing. Alright! <laughs> Whatever. It's it's fine, it's fine. I've done plenty of bads that you said were cool games, so you can eat my dick. And And it's good! Cool talk. Don't let it go to your look, I defused a bomb last week. I operated on somebody on a plane. Don't, don't let it go to my head. Well, you know what I wish would go to my head? Some blood. Uh. <laughs> I would love it if you just passed him up and just like, got him. <laughs> I'm sorry. I operated on a man on a plane in the middle of a storm. How dare you give me a fucking C ranking? Holy shit, this game is ruthless. Let me go ahead and get, you know, the top superstar doctor out there in the world. And then someone can have a pulmonary embolism on a plane and see just how far he gets. Oops, sorry. You only saved him a little bit. So I gotta give you a C plus. Sorry. I'm just thinking that's Derek talking and he puts his sunglasses down as he becomes like this super doctor extraordinary. He's like, excuse me, a C rank? I don't think you saw what actually happened there, okay? Buddy, you're a, a C, C rank. rank. Oh! 
What's oh, up? What's up? Drops God. his scalpel, drops his headphones, just, just, everything drops. <laughs> She's like, What's you gonna do about it? What's you gonna do? <laughs> well, I think we made it to the village, thankfully. No more operating on people on planes. Are we gonna operate on Lady Domitresk? Or are we gonna operate on the chainsaw guy? No, wait. We're gonna meet with Dr. Salvato. Salvatore. Dr. Salvatore. D yes, Dr. Salvador. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm making a Resident Evil joke. How funny. Hold on, I need to... I, I've got a little little bit of... Uh, i got a mole on here. Uh, how do you get rid of it? Freeze it off with Compound W!